the meteor shower in sky visible in night, with illuminating bright stars this weekend in the North Hemisphere on November 11th and November 12th. The shower produced meteor outbursts, with about five shooting stars an hour. Produced exceptional fireball meteors, which makes the shower more special. The shower will best be visible around midnight. The torps are the cosmic remnants of Comet to produce exceptional fireball meteors, which makes the shower more special. The torps burst out near their namesake constellation. Durus the Bull, which is a prominent part of the northern hemisphere in winter. It can be found high overhead to the right of the right hand and Canis Major, north of the equator. Also south of the equator Torus will peak in the early hours of Friday, November 10th. Finding Torus is an easy enough task, but for the most part it is not necessary to enjoy the meteor shower. NASA says the number of meteors radiating from the Torus will be small, but don't worry. Every hour or so, the American Meteor Society says viewers can expect to see some bright ones and even some fire falls. Leonette's meteor shower. The Leonettes will peak on November 17, and the Orionettes will continue to radiate after peaking in October. The Leonettes will peak in the early morning hours between Friday, November 17, and carry through to Saturday. You should expect at least 10 to 15 falling stars per hour, and every 33 years the Leonid storm erupts with as many as 1,000 meteors an hour. Unfortunately you will have to wait until 2034 for the Leonid storm to come around again. According to American Space Agency NASA, when the storm took place in 1996, the meteors fell abundantly like rain, and they said, thousands of meteors per minute fell to Earth's atmosphere during a 15-minute period. For more news visit Spionews.com.